Hi, this is a short video to show you how I can use Excel spreadsheets to look at the relative impact factor and other information about journals within a particular field, in my case education. This information is easily downloadable from um, Taylor, uh, Thomson Reuters or from Scopus and I'll show you the Scopus information in a second. What I got, I got all the information for education and you can see if I scroll right down to the bottom there are 219 journals listed here. It says 220 but remembering the row at the top isn't one of the journals. Now they all have a different impact factor listed in this column D 0.5 up to what's looked like 3 and I wanted to know which was the first in the um, field and which came last and therefore when I search for any particular journal where it fits. First thing I need to do is to set up a filter which is very easy. I go to data at the top and set filter and it automatically puts these little down arrows at the top of each column. Then I want to search by impact factor descending so the top one comes first and there you see I now have the highest one is 4.229 so all those scientists who tell you that anything less than 10 is a joke you can say in well in education at least if whatever it is for your field the highest one is a certain number. Now I want to insert a new column so I'll just go to insert and then columns and I'm going to call this column impact factor rank. I put number one next to the one at the top and then number two then if I use the cursor key and shift to highlight those two cells I can just get hold of this little box at the bottom and drag it all the way down and you can see it's automatically populating the list with the numbers and the bottom one should be 219 because that's how many journals there are which is exactly what we've found here. So now the filter is still there for all columns I can search the journals alphabetically and I can then find for example the British Educational Research Journal I know its impact factor is 1.66 which might seem quite low but all of a sudden I now find it's 19 out of 219 in its field so it's actually quite high. I can scroll down to studies in higher education there it is its impact factor is 1.036 and it's number 58 out of 219. I've done the same thing here I've created a column for the five-year impact factor. Notice this is the Thomson Reuters social science index if I go to the Scopus one which is a different worksheet within this um, Excel spreadsheet you can see, if I scroll all the way down, you'll automatically tell there are many more journals, in fact 619 of them. I've done the same thing here. This is the SJR indicator and I created this column D which was the same rank. So now if I look at studies in higher education, I need to keep scrolling down, its SJR indicator was 1.49 but it comes number 38 out of 619 whereas in this, the Thomson Reuters, studies in higher education came 58th out of 220, so it's much higher in the Scopus one. Again, I used the same process to create the rank column. I inserted a column, I sorted first so the indicator was highest at the top, and got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and auto-filled all the way down. You could do the same for any of those things. If you notice here, there is the sites per doc, that's the Scopus equivalent of impact factor, and they will sometimes match up to those within the Thomson Reuters. In the social science and humanities field, the Scopus or SkyMargo journal ranking system tends to be more inclusive of more journals, but remember it still doesn't include any book chapters, so you want to, in terms of whether they're cited or not, so this is still not a completely foolproof method.